Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 8 before going ahead with part 9. So till now we discussed two pressures. One was atmospheric pressure and the other one was gauge pressure. So it's time now to understand what is absolute pressure. Absolute pressure is measured relative to absolute zero pressure. So absolute pressure is nothing but the actual pressure that a substance has. So we can see that it is basically the sum of atmospheric pressure and the gauge pressure. So sum of atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure. As we already, as I already mentioned long back that pressure at any point is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus H rho G. Then later we found that this H rho G is nothing but the gauge pressure. So this pressure at any point, we said that this is the pressure at any point is basically atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. So the sum of atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure that is this pressure is nothing but absolute pressure. So basically the three kinds of pressures, the three different categories of pressure which we discussed are present in this one equation. One was atmospheric pressure, the other one was gauge pressure and the third one was absolute pressure. So absolute pressure is always measured relative to absolute zero pressure. I mean it is very similar to how we measure potential energy and quantities like that. We consider a zero of potential, right? Similarly, when we talk of absolute pressure, we mean to say that we are measuring it with relative to some absolute zero pressure, right? So these are the three terms which you should be very clear so that uh, when we go ahead and discuss other problems and other uh, concepts in depth, you should not have any confusion about all these. Now let us have a look at a problem. The problem says at a depth of 1000 meters in an ocean, what is the absolute pressure? What is the gauge pressure? Find the force acting on the window of area 20 cm by 20 cm of a submarine at this depth, the interior of which is maintained at sea level atmospheric pressure. Density of sea water is 1.03 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. Acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 10 meter per second square. Now let us look at this question part by part. So first have a look at the first part. Here it says at a depth of 1000 meters in an ocean, what is the absolute pressure? So that means H, that is the height, is given as 1000 meters. And we have to find out absolute pressure. That means we have to find out the value of P. So we know that absolute pressure is nothing but atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure and gauge pressure is rho g h. Now what is atmospheric pressure? At value of atmospheric pressure is at the sea level. Right? Value of atmospheric pressure is nothing but 1.01 .01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals plus what is rho? Rho is the density of sea water which is given as 1.03 into 10 to the power 3. G is equal to 10 and H is equal to 1000. So this comes out to be 104.01 .01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So this if you want you can convert it into atmospheres. We know that one atmosphere is equal to we know that one atmosphere is equal to 1.05 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So this you can say is equal to 104 atmospheres. So this would be the value of absolute pressure, right? 
Now the second part, it asks us to calculate the value of gauge pressure. Now what is gauge pressure? Gauge pressure is nothing but the difference between the atmospheric pressure and the pressure of the system. So the gauge pressure is basically P minus PA that is equal to rho GH. So rho GH was nothing but 1.03 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 into H is 1000. So this comes out to be 103 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. This is equal to 103 atmospheres. So this is the gauge pressure. Now the third part asks, find the force acting on the window of area 20 cm by 20 cm of a submarine at this depth. So we have to calculate the force. Area is already given. So what do we need in order to calculate force? Pressure because we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area. So force we have to calculate, area we already know. So we should know the value of pressure. So we have to calculate the value of pressure which will act on the window of the submarine. So how will we calculate that pressure? Let us see. So for the third part, we will say that pressure outside the submarine. So what would be the pressure outside the submarine? It will be the atmospheric pressure plus rho GH. Right? This, this would be the absolute pressure outside the submarine. And what will be the pressure inside the submarine? It is already mentioned in the question that the pressure inside the submarine is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Therefore, what will be the net pressure on the window? Therefore, net pressure on window will be equal to the pressure outside minus pressure inside that is equal to PA plus rho GH. This is the pressure outside minus pressure inside that is PA. So this PA and PA will get cancelled. So the net pressure acting on the window will be equal to rho GH. Now in the question it is already given that area of the window is equal to 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter. So this is equal to 400 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So this is equal to 0 0.04 meter square. So this is the area. Therefore, the force that will act on the window, that force will be equal to pressure into area because pressure is equal to force per unit area. So the pressure is equal to rho GH and area will be equal to 0 0.04. So what is the value of rho? What is the value of rho gh? Rho gh is nothing but the value of gauge pressure which we calculated just before some time. So gauge pressure was 103 atmospheres or 103 into 10 to the power 5 pascals into 0 0.04. So this comes out to be 4.12 into 10 to the power 5 newton. So this is the force that will act on the window of the submit. So I hope it is clear to you now that how do we solve problems related to absolute pressure, gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure. And I also hope that you have understood the difference between these three. So now let us go ahead and look at the next topic. The next topic that we will discuss is Pascal's law for transmission of fluid pressure. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.